Hi, uh, this is Spencer with DIY Namics showing you how to perform the demonstration of barrel clinic instability on the DIY Namics table. This is the phenomenon that causes the giant winter storms in Earth's mid latitudes that bring us the weather that we love or hate. So uh, the setup here is I've got the DIY Namics standard uh, table, we've got the tabletop on the ground. We've got the tank of water on top of that. This is filled with room temperature water. This tripod above has got my cell phone taped in here. We're just gonna use it to record footage of the demonstration in the rotating frame so that we can see what it looks like as we're rotating with the table. I've got the motor set up here. And here is our cold source that we're gonna put in the middle of the tank. So this is just a can of tomato paste that we've put in the freezer. And I'm going to place it just directly in the center of the tank, like so. That looks pretty good. And this will create, this cold source will drive the temperature contrast that's combined with the rotation will drive the eddies. Okay, the remote here is, this is a standard uh, DIY Namix uh, motor setup. The only difference is I've got the optional infrared receiver, this thing here and the uh, companion infrared remote here. Now what this enables us to do is to decrease the rotation rate, and that makes the eddies larger and sort of easier and nicer to see. Uh, if you do it with just the regular uh, setup with the motor connected directly to the battery, it will also work, but the eddies will be smaller, less uh, sort of exciting to see. Okay, so I turn on the battery, I switch the IR remote up to the very top switch here, and I make sure that the remote, excuse me, the receiver to the top switch, I make sure the remote is set to the same setting. I see that in the back here, it's connected to the red receiver, which corresponds to this side of the remote, so I press that button, and that makes the connection, and then I simply turn uh, the wheel to start the motor going. And I turn it a few clicks just to get it to get it a little bit faster. Now, you'll notice uh, that it's a little herky-jerky right now, and that's very common. So you have to generally sort of uh, finagle the device, move it around, sometimes even put a large heavy object behind it to keep it in steady contact with the table. This one's most of the way there, I think. I just needed to place it a little bit further in. That looks good, so then uh, we're going to give this a few minutes to spin up, and then we have blue food coloring, red food coloring. I'm going to put the blue along the inside of the can, and the red uh, on the outside. The blue signifies cold, the red signifies hot, uh, and just be careful not to hit the tripod. You can also do it without the tripod if you don't care about the rotating frame, and then it's a little bit easier and enables students to look directly overhead. So we'll give this a few minutes and see what it, what it turns out. Okay, this table is now spun up, so I'm going to add some uh, coloring to visualize the, the motions in the fluid.